Welcome to the Delta Math tutorial. This is on how to find the circle center and radius. Here you're going to determine the circle center and radius of the following equation. To do this, you actually have to complete the square. All right. So let me write the original before I start working on it, which is x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 10y plus 80 equals to 0. All right. So first, you want to subtract the 80 to both sides. You should now have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 16x plus 10y equals to negative 80. We want to see this as two separate um, problems. Okay, the x side. And the y side. All right, so let's do the x side. Okay, we're going to complete the square for the x side, which was x squared plus, nope, minus 16x. Okay, the y side, it was uh, y squared plus 10y. All right, so here our b was equal to negative 16. Now we half it. So negative 16 divided by 2 gets you 8, negative 8. Now you're going to square it. So negative 8 squared gets you 64. All right? Here the B was 10. Oh, no, let me make that green. B was 10. We're going to half it. 10 divided by 2 gets you 5. Now we're going to square it. 5 squared gets you 25. All right. What I'm doing here is I'm just completing the square. So I have this equation. All right. This equation, I'm now going to do a couple of things to it. I'm now going to add my magic number from my x side. So I'm going to add 64, and I have to add it to both sides. Then I'm also going to add my magic number from my y side, plus 25 plus 25. This is good because now I can factor this. Okay, I can factor x. I can factor x squared minus 16x plus 64. I can factor that, and I can factor y squared plus 10y plus 25 equals 2. Here, I can just use uh, my Desmos to figure that out, which is negative 80 plus 64 plus 25. That got me 9. All right. So if you factor this, it's very easy. Okay. Because it's this value. Once you half it, it's that value. So it's x minus 8. And you have x minus 8 is what you get after you factor that. Plus, now you have your y's. y and y equals to 9. And we saw that here it was 5. So it's plus 5 plus 5. The way you can write this, you can write it as x minus 8 squared, because there's two of them, plus y plus 5 squared is equal to 9. This looks like a circle. And our equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. All right. So we know that 
negative 8 is going to be equal to negative h. So h here is just equal to 8. Do you see that? Okay, same thing with our k. 5 plus 5 is equal to negative k. So k is going to be equal to negative 5. Now, we have our r. So r is our radius. Squared is equal to 9. Square root both sides. Square root both sides. You get r is equal to um, plus or minus 3. But you only, you only want to take a positive value. Okay, so only take the positive answer. All right? So our cent our center is going to be at h k. So it's going to be at 8 parentheses negative 5. And our radius is going to be just our positive 3. All right. So let's see if that is correct. 8 comma negative 5. And our radius here is 3. Okay, let's submit. And we did it correctly. So here's the process. See, we got their magic number, right? Complete the square. They got it here. There's a way you can check your answer by going to Desmos and just typing in the equation. So that's what we had at the start. So x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 10y plus 80 equals to 0. Notice that is this circle, right? We can see here that the radius is going to be 8, negative 5. So it's right here. 8, negative 5 is right here in the middle. And the radius, if you count, okay, it goes from 8 to how much is that? Oh, if you zoom in a little bit better, you can see it. It goes from 8 to 11. So it's 1, 2, 3. All right? That's why the radius is also 3. Okay? All right. So <laughs> these are the steps that you need to. You're basically completing the square, finding the radius, and finding the center. Okay? And again, Please use Desmos to double check your answer in regards to finding the radius and finding the center of the circle. All right? And there you go. That is how you find the circle center and radius.